the problem reads, determine the change in the free energy of the reaction at standard state for the following reaction, C2H4 gas plus H2O liquid goes to C2H5OH liquid. So we're going to be looking for delta G theta Rxn, so that's standard state, right? And we're going to use Hess's formula that says that delta G theta of the reaction, this means in standard state, is the sum of the changes in the free energy for the formation of the products minus the sum the change in the, in the free energy of the formation of the reactants. Now, we get these from tables. So let's find the first one, which would be delta G theta F of C2H4. So delta G theta F of C2H4 at gas. Let's find our table. So here's our table. Here's what we're looking for, delta GF theta. And C2H4 is right here, gas, good. And we go over to there, 68.2 kilojoules per mole. 68.2 kilojoules per mole. Now we want delta G theta of formation of H2O liquid. Back to our table. We need to scroll down. So going down, 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 down. There it comes. H2O liquid minus 237.1 kilojoules per mole. Minus 237.1 kilojoules per mole. And the last one is delta G theta of formation of C2H5OH liquid. Our table. And we can see it's here, C2H5OH liquid minus 178.8. Minus 178.8 kilojoules per mole. So now we substitute into our formula. So delta G theta of the reaction is equal to products. This is product. So minus 178.8 minus parenthesis, what do we have for a reactant? 68.2 plus, this is a sum, and then we have minus 237.1. So I'll get a calculator out to calculate this. So minus 178.8 minus parenthesis, 68.2 plus, and then minus 237.1, and the parenthesis, enter, minus 9.9. .9. So minus 9.9, .9, everything was kilojoules per mole. So this is our answer. And because delta G theta Rxn is less than zero, this is a spontaneous reaction.